do not root my theology in communal conversations in the same way that some of the Latina feminists do. Um, I don't. I don't see, you know, interviewing members of my community as part of the process um, of my doing theology. Um, I see myself uh, as part of a um, diverse uh, community of Jewish feminists who, in the late 1960s, suddenly began to raise questions about uh, why, for example, we weren't counted in a minion, the quorum of ten, uh, that's necessary to have a full service within the Jewish community. Uh, why were there no women rabbis at that point? Even in the, in the reform community, the reform movement supposedly had declared the equality of men and women a hundred years earlier, and yet there were no women rabbis. I myself grew up in a reform congregation which was um, very classical reform. Men did not cover their heads. The Torah was taken out Friday night instead of on Saturday morning. And yet the rabbi was opposed to the ordination of women because it was against tradition. Well, what is that about? I mean, obviously it doesn't have anything to do with tradition, really. Uh, so. And, and, and there were many women in the conservative movement at that point who had been educated um, alongside boys, gotten excellent Jewish educations, uh, reached the point of bat mitzvah, had a bat mitzvah, and then that was the end of their participation in Jewish life instead of the beginning. So from many different angles, we began raising questions about this. And it's the questions coming out of uh, those conversations and those writings that have been the starting points for my theology.